Hi, welcome to Lua for Kids. We're going to cover some basic programming concepts. We won't get into them in depth. I just want to introduce the ideas to you and really emphasize that you don't need to understand things right away. Learning to program is a journey and we're just getting started. First, we'll start with keywords. A programming language is made up of special words called keywords that do certain things. You don't need to know all of them. Just like when you're learning a language like Spanish or Japanese, you start out by learning a few words and build on them. For example, if and then are keywords. Programmers use if and then all the time. The great thing is, unlike a foreign language, you already know what the words if and then mean. If something A happens, then make something B happen. In other words, if the first part is true, then do the second part. For example, if it's raining outside, then take an umbrella. You might think this is simple, and it is. But using these two keywords together is a very important idea in programming. Another pair of keywords that are often used together are repeat and until. Again, these keywords have the same meaning in Lua as they do in English. Programming languages aren't trying to confuse you. Well, they can be confusing, but not usually on purpose. With repeat and until, you can repeat an instruction over and over again until something happens. For example, I can instruct a robot to repeat saying hello until I say stop. Now these keywords I just mentioned are part of the Lua language. We're not, we're not just working with Lua, we're also working inside Corona SDK. Corona is a framework that gives you tools to build things. So in addition to Lua's keywords, Corona provides its own keywords to help you program complicated things in an easier way, so you can do more with less code. Corona keywords use a period to connect with other words to make functions and properties. For instance, we can join the keyword display with other words like this. Display.newImage. This is a display function that brings new images into your program. Display.contentCenterX. This is a display property that centers an object across the screen. By the way, Lua is case sensitive. It makes a difference whether a letter is uppercase or lowercase, so you need to type the words exactly. For instance, dog with an uppercase D is different from dog with a lowercase D. But don't worry about remembering the exact spelling of all these keywords, because you can always look them up later when you need them. The whole list of keywords is on their website at this address. Most of these keywords you'll never use, but some you'll use all the time. You don't have to go and look them up now, but just remember that there is a place where they're all listed. That's it for this video. Next up, we'll talk about variables.